I guess I really don't know what Christmas is all about. Is that yummy? So fun fact, I actually got these for my nephews years ago when they were little. And I totally forgot about them. Somehow they got lost and they never ended up getting to the kids. It's been like five or more years and I found these in a box. And now they're going to be my daughter's. So I'm going to put them on her ceiling and yeah. It's funny. Gives you the little constellations. It's cute. Okay, I still have all these little ones, but this is a lot of work. So. This is what we got. Maybe later I'll come back and add the rest. So I thought that it would be fun today to paint these fake Christmas nails. So this is just some fake nails. You can get them off Amazon and right now I'm painting it red. And these are also awesome. If you ever paint your own nails, I highly recommend one of these. It's just a black light that dries your nails super fast. You can get them off Amazon. And then this is a little hack. Um, if you're ever using glitter nail polish, what you do is you take a makeup sponge. I just cut mine in half because I didn't want to use the whole thing. And you paint the nail polish onto the sponge and then you just dab it onto your nails. And all this does is it just soaks up the clear polish part so that way your nails get more of the glitter and not like the spaced out clear polish. And then here I'm using a nail art pen to just make some snowflakes. And then later on I ended up adding some glitter to the snowflakes. This is the set of nails that I got off Amazon. It comes with all different kinds of sizes and it comes with its own glue too, but I usually just use my own. Okay, and then now for the next nail, I'm painting it red again. And then I'm letting the nail dry all the way before I do anything else. And then I put some base coat on it because this one's going to get covered in um, some bigger glitter than the other one. So here I'm just pouring some craft glitter onto my nail. And then I just tapped it a little bit to make sure that the glitter was really on the base coat. And then I kind of brushed away some of the loose stuff with a paintbrush. And this is what it looked like. And then I added a little bit of a top coat just to really seal in that uh, glitter. And then this is just how I saved the glitter. And this is just a kind of a comparison on the two different types of glitters. And then with this one, I went in with some white paint to make some stripes, kind of like a candy cane. I did a few layers of this just to make sure that it was really solid and smooth. And then I ended up going in with some glitter after I dried it. And this is just kind of like a glitter glue. Oh, 
And then after that, I just added some thinner lines in between the white lines just to make it look more like a candy cane. And then I just decided to make another one of the candy cane nails, that way I could have one on my thumb and one on my pinky. So here I'm just doing the exact same thing that I already did. I'm putting some of the glitter down and then making the stripes. And I'm drawing it in between every time that I'm painting, and then I'm going to add some more of the white glitter glue. And then for my last nail, I just made it one of the thicker glitter ones again, that way these ones can go on my ring finger and my pointer finger. So here I'm just adding more glitter after I put on the base coat, making sure it's all solid on there, it's not going to fall off. And then putting some more clear coat on it, just so that way it stays there and doesn't get everywhere. Alright, so here's the final result. Super cute. They're longer than um, I would actually wear. But I was just doing these for fun. I wasn't really planning on wearing them, so I didn't bother to trim them. I just kept the length. But they're cute. <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to stop the vlog right here. So, hope you enjoyed watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for day six. Bye. <laughs>